I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Very unusual Chase the Heat. Um, by the thumbnail uh, and the uh, title, you can probably gather that. This is a happy channel about spicy things. It brings people together. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, this is a case where hot sauce was used in just a hor horrible way. And uh, um, got about several emails. More emails than I got comments, but got several uh, emails. And a, uh, the comment was from Alphonse Mele. Okay, so thank you, Alphonse. Uh, it reads, Johnny, I was wondering if you'd be willing to comment on the case of Shanda Vander Ark. She was convicted of the homicide of her son. A huge factor in the case had to do with Carolina Reaper sauce. Uh, she would force him to uh, consume the only nutrition he got other than the bread that it was on. Uh, she would pour the hot sauce down his throat multiple times a day. The jury trial statement said it was a Carolina Reaper sauce with very hot chilies. I uh, thought you might want to talk about what a 15-year-old special e needs boy may have been experiencing. Um, you know, here's the thing. Phys you know, uh, you know, I've never, been, I've always been a big fan. Um, forever, I've been a fan of. Uh, not pranking people, not dropping hot stuff on somebody unless they know they're uh, they're going to eat something hot. Because <clears throat> when somebody eats something very hot, one of two things will happen: they'll never do that again, or boy, they get into it. <clears throat> when you're pranked, they almost always say, "I'll never do that again." It was horrible; they weren't expecting it. But we all, everybody that enjoys this channel, for the most part, the, for the ones that consume it, we consume it because we like that burn, right? Uh, we've all eaten something where we've had cramps. Right, and uh, cap cramps we call them, capsaicin cramps. And what happens is when you have too much capsaicin that you've ingested, you get these terrible cramps. Um, I always tell everybody, if you're gonna eat something really hot like Carolina Reaper sauce, you wanna have it on food and have some something in your stomach to get going because if you don't, you can get capsaicin cramps. Um, I, I've competed with people all over the world. One of the hardest competitors I've ever competed against, set, she has four kids and says that cap cramps cap cramps are worse than childbirth all right now those are what happens that's what it's described like by people who do this for fun okay we like this that's what we do it for um timothy is a 15 year old special needs if you if you listen if you look into the case if this is triggering if you look into the case and watch read you know watch some of the videos the the the, the most horrific part is that it's happened from the one that he should be able to trust the most, his mom. So he, it's the ultimate betrayal. You know, those of you that are moms are like shocked. I get it. You know, dads are like, what? The, the, the ones that you should, that, that are, you, would do, you would do anything to protect your kids so that somebody could do that. So the mental thing would be just would would take all the physical pain and just multiply it by a thousand, knowing that it was done as a means of torture. And, you know, so if you if you don't if you I, I said a moment ago I tell people when they eat something hot they should have something in their stomach where they can have these cramps. Well, if all you're getting is bread and and hot sauce, you're always cramping. You never. He sounds like he was being starved. So any you could you eat. You know, he was, the cramps must have been just horrific and all the time. Uh, you know, if you just look, if you don't know anything about Chili's and you just see the, this, this story and you hear about it, like, oh, you know, it's, it's horrific. It's so, so horrific. But if you're a Chili head, you know how ca cap cramps work. And you know that the way that it was just, she was starving this child. So the only time she fed him was, was hot sauce and bread. If uh, people listen, I do this for a living. If I didn't eat for a while, right? I didn't have anything in my stomach, and I ate bread and Carolina Reaper sauce, I'm going to cramp. Think about a 15-year-old boy. Ah, I, I can't. So, the cramps he endured were just, uh, you know, I can't even imagine. I just can't. And the fact that it, it happened to him at the hand of, of the ones that, that you know, that he that uh, he should have been able to trust the most. That's the part that is just you know. Anyhow, so listen. This woman has been found guilty. Shanda Vander Ark has been found guilty. Um, I hope she gets sentenced 
forever. I hope she's, she gets put away and doesn't have a chance to get out. Her time, that, wherever she goes, her time is not going to be pleasant. Um, that's a tough thing to have on your jacket in there, you know? Um, that's one of those crimes. As bizarre as it sounds, there are crimes that are okay inside as far as how they see it and crimes that are not. And the crime she's coming in for, she's going to be in for a, probably for a, probably a life sentence, but she's not going to be viewed very favorably whatsoever. And I'm okay with that. So her time is not going to be pleasant, um, but I hope she gets, I hope she never gets out. Anyway. Um, that's, uh, you know, so let's talk just for a minute. I, the, another thing I wanted to talk, talk about, and it made me think about this, because over the years of doing this channel, hundreds of times, and I'm not even be exaggerating, probably hundreds of times, people have said that they've, co they've left comments that their parents punished them when they were kids for lying or something with uh, drops of uh, Tabasco on their tongue. Uh, or, or if they wouldn't stop sucking their thumb, they put Tabasco or hot pepper on their thumb. Listen, there are so many comments of people, and people that are watching this right now going, yeah, man, my parents did that to me. Don't do that to your kids. Number one, you're taking something that's beautiful and you're weaponizing it. That's not okay. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, uh, that's, you know, I'm not a fan of that. It's a horrible thing. You know, it's a, it's a terrible thing to do. It's a child abuse is what it is. Um, on top of that, I don't like people pranking people. You know, it's not a cool thing to give somebody, you know, slide a pepper in somebody's sandwich when they aren't looking and seeing how they handle it or telling somebody it's a mild pepper or something really hot. You know, it's good to be straight up with people. Or giving somebody a peanut when they don't know that it's from the tube of terror. You know what I mean? It's, it's not cool to prank people. I've seen videos. Listen, there was a video, I'm not going to tell you where, I'm not, there's a video of people pranking somebody. They were in a bar having drinks and they put a few tube of terror peanuts in a bowl and they're filming it yeah you know, listen it's not okay to prank people with hot stuff anyhow so just thought i'd include that but chanda vander ark i hope she goes to jail forever i hope her time is not pleasant um you know what i mean and it's sad because he sh she shouldn't be the one that gets famous in this. Timothy Ferguson, her child, you know, the, the victim is the one they should be talking about, not the not the evil thing that what she and what she did. Remember the remember him and your the family in your prayers. Okay, um, that's it. In the description box, all the normal stuff. If you have something else you want me to address, hopefully it's ch uh, chili or pepper related. Just ask. There's the bus. There's the boat. They're the challenges, and you, all you new chili heads, listen, if you're watching these and you're like, you know what, I'm starting watching some of these videos, I'm going to start eating peppers, start the, right there. It talks about, there's a series on building your, your tolerance and how to do it in a thoughtful, intelligent way so you aren't hurting yourself. You can become a raging chili head and not, without really hurting yourself. You just have to do it thoughtfully and carefully, and right there are a bunch of videos that will tell you how to do that, all right? Okay, I just want more people eating chilies tomorrow than there were yesterday. Anyway, be kind to somebody. Tell somebody you love them. All right? I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase Steve.